Earlier in the program, we learned about the 75th anniversary of a historic blizzard between the years of 1948 and 49. The Nebraska National Guard Museum is trying to acquire one of the World War II vehicles that were used for rescues. In this segment, Grace McDonald asked the museum's executive director about future events and attractions. Hi, I'm Grace McDonald with Pure Nebraska, and today I'm with Jerry Meyer at the Nebraska National Guard Museum in Seward. How are you doing, Jerry? Good, Grace. Thank you for coming out today. Of course. Thanks for asking me to come out because you have a lot going on this year at the museum. Well, it's our 10th year here in Seward. We moved from Lincoln back in 2014. We're celebrating our 10 for 10 this year. So last month we unveiled our uh, preserving the last Higgins boat documentary at the high school. So this uh, next month here in February, we're doing a night at the museum on February 27th, Tuesday night at seven o'clock. So I'd like to have your viewers come on out and enjoy the museum, see what's going on for new. We've got the Fort Donaldson exhibit you see in the background that's being uh, redone right now, which we'll dedicate on July 4th. Uh, we've got lots of things going on. The run to St. Low in, uh, in June, which is our, our memorial run we do for 53 Nebraska National Guard soldiers killed during World War II. We do that the first Saturday in June. Uh, Andrew Jackson Higgins, the boat builder. We have a Higgins boat downstairs. You want to see that. One of nine known to exist in the world out of 23,000 made. Wow. So that's downstairs. So we do his birthday on his, on his actual day, August 28th. So come out for that. We do POW MIA Recognition Day in September. We've got lots of things coming up there as we get closer to December, which is the guard's birthday. We were founded December 23rd, 1854. If people want to see this list of events, how can they access that? Well, the best way is to go on our Facebook page. You know, we keep everything listed down as events and stuff like that. And we also do send out reminders too. Uh, we do have newsletters here for you to pick up. So if you do stop by, we have paper ones that you can take home and you know, put on your refrigerator. And do you have any major plans for the museum this summer? Well, Grace, I thank you for asking. We do. It's, it's called the Liberation Tour 2024, and it's our, it's our 12 day trip to France, Belgium, and Luxembourg. And we follow in the footsteps of our Nebraska National Guard soldiers of the 134th Infantry Regiment. Uh, we, the museum society, host that but it is set up by executive travel there in Lincoln. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime trip. If you want to spend five days in Normandy and be uh, in St. Lowe, France on Liberation Day on July 18th, come with us. It's from 13 through 25 July this summer. There are still new things popping up and coming to the museum. Oh yeah, like I said, you know, the, the blizzard of 49, we want to try to do bring the weasel back home here where it actually belongs. The Fort Donaldson exhibit, which is a real big thing for us. It's a battle during the Civil War in which the Nebraskans played a huge role in helping General Grant become a household name and later commander of the Union forces. So that battle impacted the Civil War. So we think it's real important that we showcase that. Uh, we've got all sorts of neat things to see here at the museum. When can people come and visit the museum? The Nebraska National Guard Museum is open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, and on Saturdays from May to September during tourist season, we're open up from 10 to 2. All right. Well, and cool. we're free, but freedom's not free. We're <laughs> it's free. Yeah. Well, thanks for inviting me to the museum. No, thank you for coming out. <laughs>